Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. In this video, we are going to look at two physics questions, multiple choice uh, exam questions, uh, October, November 2019, AS Physics, subject code 9702 and paper 1, 1. Question number 28. Uh, before that, please give this video a like and share as much as you can. Uh, please follow me on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Okay, light of wavelength 720 nanometer from a laser X is incident normally on a diffraction grating and a diffraction pattern is observed. Light from a laser Y, so just now was X, yeah? now it's Y, is then also incident normally on the same grating. Okay. The uh, third order maximum, so in your mind, n equals to 3 when you use the diffraction grading formula. Never mind, let's read on. The third order maximum due to laser y is seen at the same place. Oh, the angle is the same, yeah? theta is the same, as a second order maximum due to laser x. Let me read that line again. Yeah, The third order maximum due to laser y is seen at the same place as a second order maximum due to laser x. So here we have n equals to 3, here we have n equals to 2, and same place, therefore your angle is going to be the same. Okay, what's the question? What is the wavelength of the light from laser y? So let's follow my working here. Of course, we are going to use the uh, diffraction grading formula, d sine theta equals to n lambda, so sine theta is n lambda over d. Now remember the angle is the same for the third order maximum for y and the second order maximum for x. So begin right. This is the sine theta for the third order maximum. This is the sine theta for the second order maximum. Of course, this is for y and this is for x. The angle is the same. Therefore, we can equate this. Okay? Remember, we are using the same uh, diffraction grating. So D is the same. So we can write 3 lambda Y equals 2 lambda X. Yeah. So we can write your lambda Y as 2 over 3 of lambda X. Lambda X, they gave me the wavelength is 720. That's what you see here. So 2 over 3 times 720 is 480 nanometer. Correct response, A. 29. Monochromatic light of frequency f is incident on a diffraction grating of line spacing d. The speed of light is c. Okay. Which expression can be used to determine the highest order of intensity maximum produced by the grating? Let's read the question again. Which expression can be used to determine the highest order of intensity maximum produced by Again, highest order of intensity maximum produced by the grating. So this is a pretty easy one. Uh, no tricks. We are using d sine theta equals to n lambda. So we are trying to find the highest order of intensity maximum. So we can make n the subject of the formula. Because we are looking at highest order of intensity. <coughs> so sine theta must be 1. So n will be Sine theta is 1 means we are looking at theta equals to 90 degrees. So n will be d over lambda. That's what you see here. Okay. And uh, what is lambda? You know the formula v equals to f lambda. So lambda is v over f. In this case, it will be c over f. That's what you see here. Bring the f up and you will get df over c. Correct response, v. n equals to df over c. Thank you for watching. Please share as much as you can. Please like this video and please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you.